I'm Dr. Kathleen Hong. I work at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I did college and med school at Boston University. It was a great time. I loved being a student at BU. One of the things that I liked most about being at BU was singing in an a cappella group. I sang in the BU Allegrettos, which is still around today, and it was a great chance for me to meet a lot of people, and we had a lot of fun together. After that, I wanted to come a little bit closer to home, so I was at the New York Presbyterian Hospital while Cornell Medical Center. After finishing my OBGYN residency at Cornell, I came to Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson to do my Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility Fellowship um, right here at RMA. When I'm not here, I'm usually at home with spending time with my family. Although I don't cook, I really enjoy eating my husband's food. He is an excellent cook. Cutting for Stone is one of my favorite books. I don't read so much as I listen to audiobooks now. It's a really good way of making use of the time that I'm in my car commuting. I really like to garden. I think it's incredibly rewarding to start out with something really, really small and have it grow into something beautiful, and sometimes something beautiful that you can eat. One of my guilty pleasures is to watch animated movies. My favorites are The Incredibles, Finding Nemo, and Despicable Me. One of the great benefits of doing my fellowship here at the Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey program was my ability to get into the embryology lab and get some real hands-on experience. The embryology team here at RMA are extremely skilled and work with some of the best technologies that are available anywhere in the world and it consequently makes the embryology lab here very, very strong. I feel very lucky that I was able to have trained in that lab and gotten my embryologist experience during my fellowship. It, I think it really helps me to give that extra perspective to my patients. I like being a reproductive endocrinologist because I feel that I have a unique opportunity to help couples at a time in their lives when they have something that it may be difficult for them to talk about with other people who they normally would otherwise go to for support. One patient for, that I remember very, very clearly went through treatment, ended up having a miscarriage. We were both heartbroken over the fact that she had this miscarriage, but then later on came back, went through treatment again, and wrote me this beautiful letter after she delivered her baby, thanking me for all the support that I gave her when she was having her miscarriage and knowing that she could move on and have a child and enjoy her child really was one of the greatest rewards that I felt. There were times in my life when there were members of my family that were sick and part of what I remember about those situations is much less the medical care that they went through but how people supported them through that. I think one of the nice things about being at a place where people actually care about the patient and the fact that they have a whole life outside of their medical care is really important. I had some really great mentors when I was going through medical school and through my residency and my fellowship who taught me that it's really important to remember the context of the life where the patient is coming from before she comes to see you. There are so many other things that you need to take into account to be able to make her feel comfortable and for her to be able to get through care successfully. There are so many different times when you need extra support during this process and I'm here to give that.